Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a file explorer on dev mode in your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X. This is going to be super useful if you're doing a lot of emulation or you want to easily transfer files between an external USB drive and your Xbox without having to go through the Xbox portal. This is going to be perfect for you. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So I will mention for today's video, you are already going to need to have dev mode installed in your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X. That's not something I'm going to be showing you in today's video, although I will be leaving a card on screen and a link in the description down below to a previous video where I show you step by step how to do everything. Then you can come back over here and you can start to install a file explorer on your Xbox. From this point, we're going to need to load up our Xbox Series X and we're going to need to know the IP address for the remote access on the bottom right. This is what we had to use to install RetroArch previously, but we're going to need to locate back to this website again to bring over some extra files that we're going to need to play PlayStation 1 games. From this point, we're going to be opening up our web browser and we're going to be locating to the URL that we had set previously from our Xbox. I have just logged in and I'm right here right now. So what we're going to be doing to do this is come to this link. As always, links is in the description down below. And what we're going to be doing is downloading a file explorer application that we're going to be installing on our Xbox dev portal. So come to this link, simply click download download and then your download will begin. Once your download is done, we're going to be coming back to our Xbox dev portal. We're going to be coming to the My Games and Apps on the home section right here. We're then going to be selecting the Add button here and we're going to be choosing our My Explorer file.appx that we just downloaded previously. Click Open, select your file, select Next, then select Start and then your file will start to install. Now this can take a couple of seconds before it fully installs and opens up on your Xbox and just like that the file should be installed. So what I'm going to be showing you in today's video is a quick example of how you can transfer a BIOS file from an external drive to your internal RetroArch folder. And this will give you a good idea of how to use the File Explorer software. So once that's done, what we're going to be doing is coming down to the Games and Apps section right here. And we're going to be loading up the My Files Explorer. So once this opens up, we will have two options here. We will have removable storage devices and isolated storage. So removable storage devices in this case is going to be any USB drives or anything you've connected. So we're going to be going here first. So you can do this by using your left thumbstick to hover over this and we're simply going to be clicking the A button to go further in here. We're then going to have to locate to where our BIOS file is. So for me it's in my BIOS files and ROMs section, it's in my Xbox, it's in BIOS and it's in PlayStation 1 and right here I have my BIOS file SCPH5001. So what we're going to be doing from this point is copying this BIOS file. To do this again hover over on top of it, click the start button and we're simply going to be clicking copy file. Again click the A button on this and now our file is copied. We're then going to be going to the isolated storage on our Xbox. So once you click this open, nothing will show up here. As right now we're inside the My File Explorer application. This is no problem. What we need to do from this point is just go one step higher. We're going to be going to the packages, click A on this, and then our packages will load up. From this point, we're going to locate to our RetroArch folder. So for me, it's actually at the very top option here. It should start with 1E4C. What we need to do is locate to this, click the A button again, and now we'll be inside our Xbox folder. From this point, what we're going to be doing is coming to the local state option right here. We're then going to be scrolling down until we see system. You can scroll down using your right thumbstick by clicking up and down. It will scroll here. We're going to be clicking on system. And here is where we're going to be pasting our BIOS file that we just copied. To do this again, we're going to be clicking the start button. We're going to be clicking paste and it will take a second or two. And then our PlayStation 1 BIOS file is now pasted inside our RetroArch folder. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to install a file explorer software on your Xbox Series S or your Xbox Series X in dev mode. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal. If you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.